Ding, ding, ding. We are we are live. Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome to yet another live and I have been experimenting away and you know those two ingredient um, donuts and bagels that you can make you just basically combine self-raising flour with yogurt and um, I did try the almond flour version with yogurt and the, the dough didn't hold together and of course I tried it with the CK flour and it's really beautiful look at the inside of these and they're so spongy and oh my goodness so this is a fried donut excuse me hey and <laughs> by the way if you're new here do let us know where you're watching from and also say hi to us and everyone else and hopefully you will make some friends because you know we're just a bunch of friends cooking together here so. <laughs> So anyway, I have listed the ingredients in the description box for you so you don't need to take notes. You can just screenshot uh, the description box. <coughs> Sorry. That's what you get for, <coughs> for snacking before it's time to snack. <coughs> don't but, talk but with are you food okay? in your mouth. <laughs> exactly. How about that? <coughs> You're Beg right? your pardon. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> I'm while well, she says still swall swallowing her donut. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so um, I have tried both the almond flour and the chicken flour blends. <clears throat> pardon me. If I just keep coughing, I'm trying to <clears throat> get better. Would you like a glass of water? <clears throat> yes, please. This one is made with the Hi everyone. Oh wow. <coughs> this what, is should, not should, should mummy win you. This is not a good time. This was not planned, was it? <coughs> um this is made with the almond flour. And now we're going to make um thank you. Mm, that's good. I actually want to use almond flour again. Are we? Are we? No. Sorry. We're going to use chicken flour, one cup of chicken flour, to a bowl. <clears throat> and then to make safe self-rising flour, we've got one tablespoon of baking powder. And then I'm going to mix that up, of course, because it's self-rising flour. Mix that up a little bit and then add whatever amount you can make however much you want right i've also tried this with half this amount which is half a cup of the flour um whatever amount of flour self-rising flour you add so actually one cup of the flour or half a cup of the the uh the flour you need half the amount of the yogurt so i'm going to add that now you know you haven't done a roll call yet I did. I said, please say hi. Well, lots of people have said hi. Okay, maybe I should, um, maybe we should break there while I mix this all together. Okay, while you mix that, we'll say hi to the crew. So Ella is first up. I, Hello, I will be there. Oh, so Ella was here, but now she's not. She'll be okay. here a little bit later. Hello, Ella. Lana is here. Oh my goodness, how are you? Bonnie Kelton. So nice to see you, Lana. Hello, Bonnie. Hi, Lana. <laughs> Bonnie's been having lots of fun with the channel. It's so nice to see. Well, Bonnie made her first live all the way from Central Texas, y'all. Oh, wow. Nice. Marzi Mars. Hello, Marzi. How Marzi. are you? <laughs> I had to do a double because your hands are busy. Uh, g'day to you all. Hope all is well and ready for some ketogenized donuts. Yes, yes. indeed we are. Lily Albright is here. Oh, hello, Lily. <laughs> I wonder how Lily's husband is this week. I'm sure. Oh, you're fascinated with Lily's husband, aren't you? I just worry for the guy's safety, so I, I just, you know. Yeah, I think he's just fine. <laughs> uh, Ron, super Ron. Da -da -da -da. Hello, Ron. How are you? Good morning, Mel, and everyone. Watching Thank you for joining us, everyone. Oh, look here already. Lily says, my husband asked me how much was my Amazon bill. 
I told him that knowledge is on a need-to-know basis and he didn't need that information. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Sounds, She's quite right. <laughs> sounds like our house. <laughs> no. Why do you always make me get into trouble? <laughs> Judy Durand is here. Hey, uh, Judy. Hello, Judy. Nice to see you. Hello from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I just finished watching Wimbledon Ladies Finals. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Lily says, hi, Mel and Mr. Mel. Oh, goodness me. It's 105... Feels like 116. That can't in be Texas, good. In that's, in, that's Bonnie saying that from Texas. Oh, Texas. Uh, who else is here? Becky is here. Good morning from Texas. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. Chris <coughs> Deanne Fisk. It wouldn't oh, be alive without Chris Deanne. No. Hello, Chris. How are you? <laughs> morning, all. <laughs> Sandy Reed. Good morning from Pennsylvania. Oh, nice to see you, Sandy. You have to get Chris today. Hey. Hint, hint. What's this about getting people in trouble? <coughs> I am minding my own business over here while you busily hack up a lung. Anyway, yes. Uh, <clears throat> Charla, oh no, here's another one for me to absolutely butcher. Charla, I apologize. Charla Klein Volterink. Oh, Let's hi see if Charlotte. Right. Checking nice in to, to say hi. <laughs> hi Charla, and again, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, Ella's back from Germany. Hi Ella, Petunia is here. Hi Petunia. Another new new name. Good morning from Colorado. Welcome, Petunia. Wow, Colorado, nice. Yvonne Hope Ange. Hi to everyone. Good night from Hi, Singapore. Hi. Oh wow, Singapore. Pat Zumich. I think I'm just butchering half of these. Hello from Kansas City. Oh, hello, Pat. Cheryl Tomlinson. Hey, hello, all. Hello, Cheryl. It time. The birthday girl. Well, Cheryl, I see you didn't make it to Australia to sort me out this week, so. You know, I waited by the front door for a whole week and nothing happened. <laughs> Stacy Gabler, hey Stacy. Hi Stacy. <laughs> Morning all, I almost missed the live and she's got a squaring emoji. Oh, <laughs> thank here. you. Oh. Foxfield Farmer says, is it, it is out of focus. It may just be the connection. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure it'll clear up soon. Uh, Charity Shelby, hello, can't hello, wait to try Charity. these. Michelle Lukowski, good morning. Hi, Michelle. And I think we're up to date. There's lots oh, of good. other comments, but we can come back. Oh, good. Okay. So, this does make a ball of dough. It, it comes together very nicely. This is with the chicken flour blend. And you can see it's, it's real soft dough. However, it is quite cracky because there's no oil in it, right? So... We're gonna fix that. This is, I've pre-made some dough. This is, this is the exact same dough. I have just shaped it into bagels. And what did I add? I added a half teaspoon of onion powder, just, you know, for variation, whatever. Um, and these are waiting to go in the oven. And my oven is set to Oh, it's pretty low. 300 still. Let's turn that up a bit. I didn't touch it. Okay, so that's bagels there. And then this one is also with the almond flour, except I added a tablespoon of powdered sweetener and a teaspoon of cinnamon to make donuts. Now, you'll see... Oh, I'll show you. But... The almond flour dough is much wetter than the chicken flour. It's fine because what we'll do is we wet our hands so we can work with the dough. Right, so I am just going to separate this out. Louise Birch says hello from Hi, the UK. Hi Louise. Judy says it's crystal clear where she is. Nice. So Foxfield Farmer, I think it was, it might just be a connection thing. It's actually blurry on the screen over here too, so. Hmm. Uh, now, Petunia says, I got my bamboo flower from Amazon last week. Nice. Because they have restocked, so that's good news for everybody yes. looking. And I'm enjoying my second loaf already. I actually did use pork rinds and I like the way it tastes. Oh, that's amazing. Ah. Uh. That's what I like about this flour. Although, 
you have to experiment a little bit. Like, you know, I've never recommended adding pork rinds, but why not see if you like it? So I think that is fabulous. Anyway, I have made an oblong shape because I want to make a... Um, now, I'm from South Africa, and there is a traditional, authentic... Uh, meal or dish if you like and it's called fat cook which is actually translated to fat cakes there is savory thing it's like having a, um non it tastes like a non-sweetened donut if that makes sense but you have it with a curry and instead of traditionally in, instead of having rice or pasta or something like that you make fat cakes so that's what I'm doing with this one because this is the the base in uh, the base recipe, right? Just three ingredients: your baking powder, yogurt, and your CK flour. So I thought that I would make something basic with that. Anyway, that is going to go for that is going to be deep fried, and I've just warmed up um, some avocado oil. Just warmed up some avocado oil and I'm going to fry deep fry these in the oil until they resemble that. When I tasted this, it was oh gosh, it could do with a little bit of sweetener to make a donut. Or oh gosh, this tastes like fat cakes from home, you know? And um the fat cakes themselves are much, much bigger, sort of maybe that size and then you slice them in half and then you just pour your broth or your stew or your curry over it it is just fabulous <laughs> anyway <laughs> so that is something i'm going gaga over <laughs> is the fact that i can do that again and once the south africans hear that you can get zero carb keto fat cakes or fat cook as they would call it they are just going to be so excited i know for a fact because somebody asked me to create a fat cake recipe gosh must be a year ago and i tried and tried and tried and tried and i even tried um back then this flour didn't exist so i even tried some other keto flours um, and they did they weren't quite right, but this is doing it for me. It's just hitting the spot. <laughs> All right. Becky says she doesn't have a dehydrator. Making chicken flour in the oven takes a long time. It does. Uh, does anyone have a good technique? Now Chef Fat Grams. You've got something coming up later that you're gonna show? Uh, no, I'm not gonna show it okay. later. Um, this is what Chris is talking about, Chris, my husband, for those who are on you. Um, another channel, Chef Fat Grams, he does, um, <coughs> sorry, he does attend our lives now and again. And he was, he showed us a new way to do chicken flour in 10 minutes. So you buy a rotisserie <coughs> chicken. Please go to my, the community section, the community tab of my channel. The link is there and you know if you're a visual learner do go and watch that video but um, he you buy rotisserie chicken you blend that chicken then you microwave it for every two minutes grind back into the grinder back into the microwave back, and back into the grinder and then you sift and I tried that and it actually worked now for somebody who I make a, quite a substantial amount of chicken flour because I have to experiment. This was like a game changer for me. So <laughs> I was very pleased. Where is the chef, by the way? Is he still building uh, his no, house? No, chef did excuse himself. He is busy. All right. Uh, Jay McClinton is here. Hello, Hi, Jay. Nice to see everyone. Hello again. So uh, Becky was asking, I came on late, she said chicken powder, oh, okay, that's being covered, that's okay. Uh, Becky also says, I'm hungry, you're, I'm hungry already, y'all. 
Yvonne says, may I ask what a CK chicken flour? Is there a tutorial on the chicken flour blend? There is. Um, it is... Oh, Ma Marzi's answered. Yeah. Let me read out Marzi's answer. Marzi Mars says, hey, Yvonne, in your own time, please make sure to check out Mrs. Mel's elaborate range of amazing keto recipes. If you haven't, you won't be disappointed. CK flour stands for clean keto and Mel's formulated a blend. The chicken flour and almond flour, I'll include a link shortly. Nice, thank you. Ethel Pierzynski. Hello, Ethel. <laughs> Guaranteed I stuffed that one up. Pierzynski. Pier, it's Pierzynski. Right. Pierzynski. Good morning from the Northern Oregon, Northern Oregon coast. Nice. I'm glad my alarm went off. I'm looking forward to making some of your creations. My air fryer has a dehydrator. Nice. Nice. And last one here, Brenda Patino. Hi, Brenda. Hey, Brenda. Mm, hello, Mel. Could I use canned chicken to make chicken flour? Yes, you can. You most certainly can use chicken flour. It's just the basics of it is, <clears throat> pardon me, <clears throat> you uh, dry out your chicken. So if you prefer to do slices or you prefer shredded chicken, aka tin chicken, uh, chicken ground chicken or rotisserie chicken because you know you're going to break that chicken apart all of those um, types um, those cuts of chicken apply but you would follow the same process of just getting that chicken dry my oil is so hot y'all oh I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something about that <laughs> um, do a break dance it no, it's just that I don't want um, I don't want these fat cakes to to cook too quickly. So I'm going to get rid of some of this oil. Okay. Yvonne says, uh, "Oh, at Marzi Mars, thanks for your help." Yep, good man, Marzi. Now, did I miss any here? I don't think I did. Nice. Um, also, I'm, I'm going to be cooking on this back stove because um, the, the manual or the portable one makes a big fat noise and, oh, that's much better. Uh, Becky's asking what temperature should the... I, man, what is wrong with my England? I want to I want to be about around 250 Fahrenheit, to be honest. Uh, 200 would be better. But before this, it was sitting at 300, so um, it's still a little high. So yeah, you want to be between 200 and 250 Fahrenheit or um, 100 or say 150, not 150, 125, sorry. Uh, Lily says, I have never used avocado oil to fry with. How is the smoke point? Oh, it's so much better than the olive oil. Let me tell you that. It is actually, um, it's a great, um, how can I say? The avocado oil is my go-to oil to use just because it's not, um, it's, it's very forgiving. You can, um, it's not fussy about the smoke, smoking point like olive oil. So, uh, I like to use avocado oil. Cheryl says she's going to try and make the chicken flour from canned chicken in the microwave, like Chef Fat Graham did with yes. the rotisserie chicken. Yes, nice. All right, okay. I'm between, I'm between 200 and 250. So, I'm going to pop these in now. I'll just practice safety and put these in a spoon. Now, Becky's asking, can they be baked? That is a question we're going to find out with the bagels. Um, I'm going to bake those bagels. And I also wanted to, obviously, when we do a video, there's going to be a lot more options because this is just all experimental, right? So... Um, I'm still going to test whether we can make tortillas with this dough and 
other things because a doe should be able to do more than one thing. You're looking good. Okay. All right, so where are we at now? We're at 3.50, that should be all right. We'll see. So what's that going in the oven? These are bagels. So my Did you already say that? <laughs> yes. I so was listening to you, I promise. <laughs> so the bagels are made with chicken, the chicken flour blend. I did one cup um, of chicken flour blend, the tablespoon of baking powder, and a half a cup of Greek yogurt. All the ingredients are listed in the description box. My oven for the bagels is set to 350 Fahrenheit or 176 Celsius. And we're gonna see, could you put a timer on there, please? Go, <clears throat> start off with 15 minutes, I think. 15 minutes? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> And I got two bagels out of um, half the recipe, by the way. Were you going to say something? Me? No. Yes. Why? I always have this dumb look on my face. <laughs> I was born this way. My right. mother loves me. Okay. Cool. All right. So we've got timer set for that. Yes, we and do. How long do you cook the ones in the pot for? Until um, they're brown. <laughs> Um, I'll let you know they're winning at the same time as the as the bagels and now I'm just going to prepare my cinnamon cinnamon flavored donuts that I'm gonna yes yes um, and you, I want to make my cinnamon I know and it's not even a, a lot we won't get a lot out of this um, so I'm just going to prepare a, a cinnamon sugar combination here <laughs> So I don't think, yeah, so, okay. Ooh. Becky says, thank you, Chris. You are doing an excellent job. Thank you, Becky. You always need someone to hold the floor down and I fill that position perfectly well. <laughs> nice. Okay, I put a tablespoon of, oh, lucky I saw that. I put a tablespoon of baking powder. Do you know I really need to stop doing this? I've made this mistake before, by the way. <laughs> that's a rookie mistake. Table? No, I can make rookie mistakes. <clears throat> no, that's something even that ten, I would Even 10 years from now, I'll probably be making rookie mistakes. It's unfortunately, there's an element of humanity. <laughs> Maybe I need to be more robotic. <laughs> it doesn't help that they both look exactly the same. No, it doesn't. Okay, I've done, I've done a tablespoon of sweetener and a teaspoon of cinnamon uh, powder and ground cinnamon and I'm just going to mix that together for when um, my donuts are ready so that I can, you know, coat them in cinnamon sugar. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm salivating already. But... I Lily says pumpkin pie spice would also be good. Yes. Yes, it would. And if you mixed a couple of tablespoons of pumpkin puree into this, why not, right? Why not? And then you dip it in the maple syrup or pecan brown butter. Oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> uh, Lily also says put your label on the lid and not on the side. That's a good idea, Lily. I Except like that. That's get... exactly where the label is. It's on the side. Except when the lids get separated, and then you don't know which one it goes. But then you won't, the you won't, you won't, you uh, won't uh, interchange lids or make that mistake, would you? Because both will be labeled. So I like that idea. It's very clever. Uh, Cheryl says she keeps cinnamon sugar mixed up in a shaker, and they use it for toast every day. Ooh, that, Fred, that's a... Now that's a keeper. That's a good idea. I bet you're going to do that. I'm going to do that right after this I'll mix you some. No problem. But, yes. Uh, Marzi is looking for Judy. And Judy is, says, yes, I'm here watching. Becky says, I put a pinch of ground clove to the sugar. Oh, yes. Yes, what cinnamon would, and cloves go very well together. What would that do uh, taste-wise? 
it takes it like up a notch. All right, so let's get let's get some. Petunia says, I really appreciate the bamboo flower, the nut flowers were giving... Oh, it disappeared. I'm assuming it was giving out of it. Uh, yeah. Stacy says, so happy there are other pumpkin lovers out there. Oh, uh, well. I keep getting memes complaining it's almost pumpkin latte time. Oh, no, it's not, is it? Oh, Stacy, I thought I was going to avoid that this year. What? You hate pumpkin? I know that it's the whole pumpkin uh, spice latte craze that comes around. Uh, it's like October, November, Halloween -y time. Yeah. <clears throat> Brenda says, I will for sure be using my canned chicken to make the flour. You all are such inspirational to me and many. My health has been slowly getting better since I found your channel. Many blessings. Oh, wow. Wow, thank you, Brenda. That's Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Cheryl wow. says, I used one of my big sized Himalayan salt shakers for it. Oh, I've got two of those. <clears throat> now, something. Uh, <clears throat> Marzi says, should we ask either Mr. or Mrs. Mel to give her new apron a quick flash for the viewers that haven't seen it yet? What do you think? Just a glance for some feedback. Yes, we should do it. Isn't, I it, think. isn't it in the wash? Yeah. I'm going to have to fish it. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I, did, uh, I made a mess with it, of course. It is an apron. So that's what happened. Uh, Petunia says the bamboo flower is much easier on my stomach. Nice. Probably compared to oat fiber. Yeah, must be. Uh, no, it was the nut. Oh, it was the, the nut flowers nut. that she uh -huh. was. Yeah. So I'm just <clears> doing <throat> bite-sized cinnamon donuts, and I'm going to pop those in. Uh, Judy says, "Sure, the apron is really nice." Cheryl says she loves that apron. Uh, I Bonnie, love it too. Bonnie says pumpkin lattes are all year. Starbucks okay. does them. Don't they? Yeah, I thought they only did them around Halloween time, but uh, Lily says, yes, Marzi Mars, I agree. So it looks like uh, you need to go and find the apron. Uh, Charlotte Ferris. Hey, Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. Hoping to make bagels this week. I used a chicken flour blend and a loaf of cinnamon bread yesterday. Ooh, that will... No, Char Charlotte's a fabulous baker. That sounds... Don't I'm know. getting lots of great ideas. Yeah, here. Charlotte. Charlotte can bake. I love that people take the stuff and, and go and uh, put their own spin yeah. on everything. Oh, gosh. Last week, I have to tell you guys what happened with that cake, right? Because you wanted, you wanted to see how it turned out. We were not happy with the cake. In, <laughs> it tasted, we could taste the chicken flour in the cake. And that has put us off completely <laughs> from baking with chicken flour so i mean like all all up until now we've just done mud cakes and little muffins and things like that and it was fine but we could taste the chicken flour this time and we didn't like it and of course it being like your very our very favorite cake I don't think it was ever going to live up to. It was a pretty big benchmark. Yeah. But, uh, was it uh, Judy that said she uses the chicken flour for savory? I was still going to. Oh, I was still going to share that lovely, lovely smart tip of Judy Duran's. That because I think I'm going to do what Judy does is um, keep keep the chicken flour for pies, all things savory. Um, you know, tortillas, any anything, bread, all of it. Um, but I think if I want something sweet, I'm going to go with the almond flour version. Because I have both already, and why not? And the reason why I will never give up on the chicken, or not give up, 
I will never not use the chicken flour is because it is actually zero total carbs. You don't have cake every day. Well, I don't, but you will have some bread type thing or rolls or something that is fake carbs. You know what I mean? So I need to keep an eye on these. <laughs> <clears throat> so Yvonne is saying, may I know what's bamboo flower? Is it keto friendly? <clears throat> so it's bamboo fiber. <clears throat> it's called bamboo fiber. And um, if you, I'm not sure if you know oat fiber. It is a direct substitute for um, oat fiber. So one to one. Um, the difference is the color. Um, it is a, it looks like a baby powder or talcum powder. It is light, fluffy, soft, white, and um, it has much more health benefits than oat fiber. Um, it helps to lower cholesterol and um, it contains silica that's going to help you with your hair, skin and nail. This, yeah, it's way better for you. And... Um, it really, when you combine a certain amount of or certain types of flowers, it can change um, those flowers or powders into a flower, which is what the discovery is. Lily says, I haven't had success yet with the flower blend, but I keep trying. Can't wait for the chicken flower. Oh, Camille's here. Hello, Camille. Love you, Mel. Camille don't Herrera. Start, don't stop. Cook it, cook it. Camille Herrera, yes. isn't it? Yes. Is there any other Camille? Queen Camille. Charity Shelby. Oh, the pumpkin sounds great. And thanks for the info on the avocado oil. Now, I just checked the washing and it's not there. So, I think... Maybe it's been done already. Yeah, I think our dear, darling, awesome. dear darling daughter, she has. Uh -huh. And um, oh, is Miss Henderson here? No, wait. I haven't seen Mrs. H actually. Because uh, Mrs. Henderson made a request <clears throat> for our daughter to make an appearance and say hi to you guys. Well, and well, she, she's done your washing. So, oh, uh, thank you. And um, well, we. Um, she said no, <laughs> but I'll ask again because you know you never know how the mood takes them. <laughs> So, Marzi has sent a uh, $20 Thank super thanks. Yes, can I have my, I did miss my apron. Thank you so much, Marzi. Thank you. Thank you. And he says, quick apron flash. Come on, we need to assist this couple and they're branding. Let's go. Thank you, Marzi, Marzi, Mars. There we go. All sorted. And these need to come out now. Now, I'm just going to rip through uh, some comments here, Bob, while you're doing that. Yeah. Uh, Lily says, put those donuts on a scoop of keto ice cream and you have a good dessert. Oh, another good idea. Uh, Charlotte says, thank you. Stacy says, in the fall in USA, every company flavors something with pumpkin, thus the hate for it in the US. There you go. Oh. That was close. Oh, Judy has sent a $10 super sticker. Oh, Judy, thank you so much. Thanks, Judy. And Marzi says, let's see some love hearts for this dynamic duo. All the time and effort they put into this channel. Come on, get your love hearts out. I'm just going to quickly roll. Thank you so much. I'm just going to quickly roll the donuts in the cinnamon sugar. Oh, the smell. It smells good. Judy sent a ton of love hearts, so has Ella. Thank you so much. Marzi says, thank you, my dear Mrs. Javan, you're a star. Cheryl says, I used it in my cake, but it did. I did not use the pepper of... Oh, the black pepper. Um, no, sorry. Let me uh, just like untie my tongue from wherever it was going, and I'll read this comment properly. Cheryl Tomlinson says, I used it in my cake, but I did not use the pepper or cardamom, and I added nutmeg to the clove, ginger, and I doubled the amount of them. We cannot taste the chicken. Nice. Now, see, I doubled the amounts from the original <laughs> recipe creator, which is Anna Olsen. So, 
maybe I need to go even more, like, you know, double those doubles. <laughs> All right, this is the um, coated in, I shouldn't have used powdered sweetener, I think. I think I should have used granulated. But you know what, I'm gonna keep going <laughs> because it's gonna go down the hatch good. <laughs> Lana is, looks like Lana went away and came back. Sorry, I'm late, I got tied up and I'm Hi, here. Hi Lana. Hi hey, Lana. It's so nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. Yvonne says, thanks for sharing, Mel. Becky says, if you make cinnamon mixture with sugar, add some cloves, it will evoke warmer, more flavorful, flavorful taste to the pastry. Yep. Oh, well, Mrs. Henderson is here. Made it. Chickens took longer to care for them today. Aw. Hello, Hi, Mrs. Mrs. Henderson. <laughs> 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 we said we planned that it was in unison. <laughs> uh, Charlotte says I'm also using a pecan flour blend instead of almonds. It's lower in carbs, and honestly, I like it better than almond. The chicken is really better in savory recipes, and I think we're finding that too. Yes. Cheryl yeah. says, "Who is selling the aprons, and for how much?" We're working on it. Uh, and that's your 15-minute timer for. Oh, they look nice. Okay, can you take it to 20? To 20? They have, they have slight <laughs> browning, but I... So another five? Yeah, I think, I think we could do, we could go a little bit longer there. Okay, I've got another five. Um, so with the aprons, are we going to well, put them on the shop link or something on um, YouTube? I, I'm not sure that, that we're going to eat, because these, this is very long, right? It's, I, I think it's um, a gentleman's size. But yeah, Marzi is working on something and I'm working with Marzi. And um, I was thinking of um, girly options for girls and, you know, so forth. But we are going to, we're, we're working on it. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> The, the fat cakes that I grew up with that I was talking about earlier, that's what they look like on the inside. Um, I shouldn't have been talking because I, it's a little bit more browner than what I'd like. Um, it's more of that color that I was going for. But yeah, they're really soft. Let me turn that so you can see. Oh. So they're done, are they? They're done. Uh, the little ones on the plate. Oh, the little, which, yes. Which, which are the cinnamon ones? That's all you care about, eh, Chris? And now the cinnamon. You can see it's really soft. Oh, look at the steam coming out. Mm, yum, 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 yum. I'm scared I'm going to choke. <clears throat> mm, oh. Mm. <laughs> oh no, that's dangerous. And do you know how easy that is? To, I could make that for you if, all day, every day. That is dangerous. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's nice. Marzi says, for all you viewers that haven't seen Mel's apron yet, please let her know what you think. We think they both look great, and our brother Christo rocked it too, wearing it a couple of weeks ago. I, I did, Marzi, I'm gonna own that. Uh, Mrs. Henderson, I'm not sure if I've missed a message somewhere. Mrs. H says, two had died by raccoon and rats, no, I'm, I'm not sure what she... Oh, uh, I think Mrs. Henderson explain, is explaining why she's late. Oh. Does that make sense now? Oh. That's good. Now, Cheryl says, um, just take it off for a second, Bob. Must have it up. Cheryl says, don't make them too short because some of us are a bit taller. Now, Cheryl, I am 5 foot 11, and it is. I don't know if you can see this yeah, on it's camera. Uh, it's just gone, no, they wouldn't be able to. But, but it is down past my knees. It's 
halfway down my shin. So I do think it might be a bit long. Awesome. Thank you. I'm going to put my apron back on. She was five foot ten, by the way. Okay. Okay. So this this might she might be she might be okay with this size. Hmm. Uh. Now. Oh, we've got some. What's the time, please? Uh, you've got a minute twelve, which is just enough time for me to read some more things up here. Up, apotiki, hialpotik. I know I got that wrong. I'm very sorry. Nam, Mel, and handsome husband. I'm assuming that's Namaste. Hi. Hi. Ricky says, while we're talking about the apron, can we have pockets and a towel holder, please? Pockets and a towel holder. Yeah, we have we have pockets already. We would. How would you do? Maybe a clip here. No, down here. How would you? Like a, you know how they do like on the, like Gordon Ramsay style thing where you... No. They always like... I just like you gesticulating. <laughs> <laughs> it's going, you know how they... <laughs> oh my goodness. That was funny. Sorry guys. <laughs> I mess with him like that all the time. <laughs> uh, and an adjustable shoulder strap. Yes. We like that. Uh, Marzi says, yes, ladies and gents, we're busy in the background with Mel and Christo's merchandise. Oh, there's your timer. Uh, Carol, oh, sorry, uh, Lana says, the apron is beautiful. I'm doing really well. Can't wait to try the flower blend. Those donuts look scrumptious. Thank you. Carol Walker is here. Hello, Hello Carol. Carol. How was your birthday? She says, hi, sorry, I'm really <coughs> late. It has been noted, Carol. Uh, Cheryl says yes, add pockets to the apron. Add pockets, yes. Now, Petunia says my name is actually Melanie. Well, hello Melanie. Hello. So I've got to have the apron. You know, cook with Mel, cook with yes. Melanie. No pressure or anything. Yes, yes. Oh, that's a bit hot. Yeah, leave that for a second. Carol says she's recovering from surgery. I hope everything's okay, Carol. Oh, hope you get well soon. Hmm. Uh, Ron says, when are you going to, <clears throat> excuse me, when are you going to share these with the rest of the class? Anytime you need a taste test, I'll be the first one to volunteer. And the thing is, it's so easy to make. While you're watching this live, you could have made this. That's, it takes, what, it took five minutes. And what I love is I wanted to test, you know, how to take it up a notch, spice it up. You know, add different things to it to either make it sweet or savory. And for me, I, I'm really happy with, you know, what I've done here. It's awesome. These donuts, you got to try these donuts. you got to try them. They're awesome. Stacy says, I'm five foot nine. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm five foot nine, but I think that's too long for me. I agree with Chris. I uh, see. I I used to be five foot six, but now I'm five foot five. <laughs> and it, it yeah, explain it, that one. It um. I'll just tell you where it comes. You can see. Oh, it comes the like mid calf. So, yeah. Um. Just remember that this is a prototype, Marzi doesn't know me in real life he he actually got me this apron he doesn't know how tall i am in real life he doesn't know you know what because cameras are deceiving what actual size i am so he all of like the sizing and things he had to completely guess so but the print work and all of that i think is like on the money <laughs> And stuff. It's just only a little bit big for me. <coughs> but yeah, we'll we'll fix the sizing and we'll get those other, you know, apron holders and adjustable straps and we'll fix the, all of that up. Esther says she loves the apron. Thank you, Esther. Lily says you could always adjust the strap around the neck to make it a bit shorter, <laughs> but it's not gonna be, you know. Yeah. 
Uh, Becky says just add a loop by the side for the towel holder. Oh. Mrs. H also says make a loop. Make a loop. Judy also says make a loop. So I think we can gather that there should be a loop at the side. A loop at the side because then it'd be out of the way. You like that? Carol oh. says she had a great birthday. Thanks. Mrs. H says 100 degrees Fahrenheit plus all week. <laughs> wow, that's warm. Uh, Lily says soak them in a bit of rum. Ooh, that sounds very good. Soak what, the donuts? Mmm. Or maybe those. Gosh. Yeah. Uh, Ron says just an idea you could stuff these with good, good jam, make them into jelly donuts. Ooh, I like that. Uh, Stacy says, we are by Chicago, so I've had a mild summer, but I've been panicking, wondering if we should use a mister to cool them when it gets that hot. Wow. Mrs. H has about 150 hens and five roosters. She hatches and raises her own each year. Gosh. And she would have, that whole egg pandemic thing would have completely passed mom age by. Yeah. Nice. Ella says, I would add some jam in the middle of the cinnamon sugar donut, like our Berliner Krapfen, Krapfen? Yes, Krapfen. You, with, yeah, especially with deep fried donuts, you got to have the jam. You just, you just have to. <laughs> so, yes, I don't mind, um, yeah, I don't, it's nice to taste them on their own because they need to taste good on their own. Um, you know, especially when I'm recipe testing, that needs to taste good so any toppings or fillings you add you know it's just gonna be way better <laughs> so yes charity anyway. says i can see these being yummy with strawberries and keto whipped cream <clears throat> apron looks awesome being gluten-free for 12 plus years the recipes are so easy and delicious so glad i found you love from tennessee oh wow thank you so much but remember when I was saying I left them too long because I was talking? That's the color that I wanted to go for. So maybe even take down, take your oil down, heat your oil up to like 200. Don't try, try not to go beyond that because I was at like 215. And, but then you won't be talking as much as I would. <laughs> 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 anyway, the bagels, right? Let's check out what it bakes like. Um, oh, that is still hot. Oof. Just put on maybe a plate, then you can hold the plate up. Yeah. Or with some tongs. Do you want some tongs? No, I just want to talk about it. So, like for me, I think this is the chicken flour, right? We know a chicken flour is more absorbent. I think with chicken flour, I might be inclined to add a bit of oil because of this cracking. It makes it look a little dry to me. I don't know what you guys think, but let's check out the inside and I think that's going to tell us everything. Stacy says, I'm thinking hush puppies with this recipe. What's a hush puppy? I don't know. I thought a hush puppy was a shoe. It's a brand of a shoe. Yeah. But just Google it. Stacy, what's a hush puppy? Lily's asking, could you fill them with custard? And how would you do that? You need an, a syringe and you need to insert it into <laughs> the donut. Yes. No. Well, explain what you're laughing for. No, it's for. just mm. going to sound rude. It's mm. just going to sound rude. <laughs> I mean, how do I explain that? You could, um, you know, make a hole in them, you know, with a, with a skewer or something. Or, But I don't know, the, the bagels for me, that crumb looks very dense. I don't know what you guys think. I, th I think that crumb, I mean, it's okay. It's only going to be a bagel, but. <laughs> Lily says, no, I meant, would there be enough room, LOL? Not how would you? Mm. Oh, okay. All right. So, Stacey says, maybe minus sugar, add corn for hush puppy. You're going to give it a try. Now, here's the, here's the scoop on 
hush puppies. Lana says it's cornbread. Becky says it's small fried dough. Cheryl says hush puppies are little balls of dough that we eat with fish. Ah, yeah. I've had these. Oh, Stacy has answered as well. LOL, I'm sorry. Like a deep fried bread, Southern American cuisine. I've had these. They're really nice. But you yeah, didn't you know what they were. Um, no, I didn't know what it was called. I don't think you can just use a syringe. I think you'd need to cut them or actually dig out a hole if you... <clears throat> If you weren't happy just to have, um, I would be happy just to put a little bit of jam there and seal it like that, and then it disappears. <laughs> it disappears. But um, yeah, I, it's not that airy that if you fill it, it's not like an eclair. So they are very, very soft. But for me, this dough responds best to deep frying. Just because I don't like the way the bagels have turned out. I mean, they're, they're edible. They're ed edible and they're fine, but these will not be appearing as is on the channel, just to let you know. <laughs> when we do bagels, we need to do <coughs> awesome bagels, and these are not quite awesome. But they're still pretty good. Now, well, you, you tell me your honest opinion. And taste-wise? Yeah. Okay. Now that one has <clears> got a half half, tea, half teaspoon of onion powder. Honest opinion because I'm, I'm not happy with it so it's not going on the channel, but honest opinion. What do you think? I like it. You don't find it too dense? It, I would say, yeah, okay. It's denser, be probably. Be picky. Be, like, critical. Oh, my God. It just tastes like hell in a handbasket. Come like, round. How in the world have you made this thing? What? Why? Um, so you can share your opinion. I can't speak with my... I can't speak on camera with my mouth full of root. One moment. <laughs> but, yeah. So... When we fry it, it is so soft and cr crumbly and it's got gorgeous crumb. Oh, okay. sorry. <clears throat> they are very dense and they're quite dry. Mm. That would be my comments. Mm. Other than that, I actually like the taste. Oh, taste nice. is fine. Because that was made with chicken, the chicken flour blend and then a half teaspoon of onion powder. So maybe that onion powder is just doing something You can for taste the, the onion. You can't taste any chicken. No, I you, couldn't taste it's like a hint, like it's got a... It's like a save, there's something savory in there. That's what it is. The stuffing that you get inside a, a, a chicken, mm -hmm. it's got that kind of taste. Oh, wow. And I love stuffing. That's why you I quite do. like it. Ah, seriously? Well, you don't know that you're I like stuffing. You know that you like them because mm. I'll make them I for you. I do like them. Now, which ones? I'm just... Here, the darker ones. I just need to do some quality control with this one. Yes, you've got to test these recipes. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Now. Any comments? Yeah, lots. Well, so I'm just trying to go. See, I leave you guys alone for five minutes and look what happens. <clears throat> Pat says I'm going to try the, the donuts in the cake pop maker. Mm. Uh, Charlotte says, oh, hush puppies, I haven't had one in ages. I need to try the chicken flour. Thanks for mentioning it. Uh, Brenda says, hush puppies are small balls made with cornbread and served with fish. That could be a hush pe puppy then. Mm. They're savory, not sweet. That's savory. Yeah. That is the basic three ingredients. So it's just the baking powder, the flour, and Greek yogurt. That's all that is. And it's got a really nice texture. I'll break open a fresh one for you. Ron says, <clears throat> try dipping them into melted sugar-free dark chocolate and pow powdered swerve. Ooh. That sounds nice. That sounds dangerous. Mm. Shall 
Cheryl says, add some parmesan to the dough for hush puppies. Oh, we forgot our thing. And you could add par you could add so many things. But what did we forget? We forgot. Someone's alarm's going off. We forgot the sign. How can we forget the sign? Marzi says, uh, you think you can give the CWM live banner a flash? I'd love to see what it looks Gosh, like on the cupboard because I'm working on something and need to judge it through the camera. My plans. apologies, Marzi. We are so not, I think we are set in our ways. And, you know, when you come with these new things, we're not quite onto the <coughs> ball with change, it seems. So. Um, one second, Marzi. Okay. I did take it out. I did take it out for, um, I think he wanted it on the other side. Is it on the cupboard? Yeah. Which? Well, he'll, he'll let us know if he wants us to change it. <laughs> so see how Mars is looking after us. He's making all this stuff and trying to make us become professionals. <laughs> oh. My husband, oh, Lily says, my husband passed by and he said, this is for Mel. She looks like she is really young, like 30-ish. Oh, my goodness. Uh, thank you, but that's so not the case. He's a smooth operator. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Uh, war paint is very deceiving. No, that's, no, that's rubbish. You look gorgeous. You do not look your age. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Uh, Carol says, I still need to watch a replay later. Uh, Stacy says, thank you, Mel and Chris. I've got three grandsons coming for a sleepover, so I'm off to get ready. Thank you again for a great recipe. Thanks, Stacy, and Thanks, Stacey. best of luck, because that's gonna be <laughs> oh, a busy yeah, three, that's three. gonna be a busy night. Uh, Mrs. H says, put more strawberries and cream cheese on it. <clears throat> uh, Marzi says, this one's for you, Mrs. Mel, can I please ask you to make your version? of an Italian Arancini. I need a fix of Arancini. I hope I'm saying that right. Please, so does Brother Cristo. Isn't that true, bro? I need to just have a look at, at um, cause I try and do simple recipes, right? So I'll, I'll try and find a simple one. Um, what I, I like about simple recipes is exactly this. You can take three ingredients and then do what you want after you've mixed that in. So for me, I feel like um, a lot of my subscribers are good cooks already. So they, whatever, most of the time when they try something, it works out really great. So it works, you know. <laughs> Carol says <clears throat> you can make stuffing balls with the bagel mix. Yeah. Now we're on to a winner. Yes, because you would just make breadcrumbs and then, yes. Now we are on to, yes. yep. Could you can do. take that one to the bank. Uh, Cheryl says, give one to the dog. What is the dog's name? I think Cheryl sees the reflection uh, of him in the fridge. Uh, the dog's name is Loki. We'll, we'll bring him over, but uh, I just need to make sure that... There's, There's nothing, nothing from the snapper. <clears throat> uh, did I say the dog's name's Loki? No. Ah, his name is Loki, after the Norse god of mischief, for very good reason. Lana says the chicken flour will be excellent for cornbread hush puppies. Add some chopped baby corn for flavor. Uh, yes, because uh, baby corn is not as high in carb as the normal, you know, uh, corn kernels or just plain corn. Um, I'm not saying eat corn, but if you've got to have that fix, then get baby corn instead. Bethel says you could put nothing but the bagel seasoning on the bagel before baking. Oh yes, oh yes. <clears throat> Becky yeah. says I made carrot cake with your recipe for my husband's birthday since he likes carrot cake. It came out great. Thank you. Oh, Marcus. nice. Thank you so much, Becky, for that. Lucky. See what we mean? Up. Up. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's 
This is the boy. <laughs> and no, no. Thank you. Marzi said, my grandmother used to make Italian donuts with a shot of Nutella and strawberry jam. Oh my God, extremely dangerous. That would be... Nutella and strawberry jam. I would be in a coma if that was available. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Charlotte says she made corn extract and that should give it that corn flavor. I might try the Parmesan cheese too, that's brilliant. I'd yes. love to know how sh uh, Charlotte made the corn extract. Corn extract. Most extracts are made with vodka, by the way. But you can look online and, and get recipes for extract. What happened? So Lily's husband gave you that compliment and Lily says she hit him. See, Good Lily, job. that's abuse. I would do the same thing. You don't compliment like some other woman and I'm just sitting there. How deep? <laughs> uh, Becky says, I used a recipe for two, added half portion more. Very nice. Nice. Uh, Cheryl says, Mel, I always thought you were 35 or so. Oh, no. I'm turning 49 next month. <laughs> so, no, definitely... Definitely not. It hasn't been, haven't been in my 30s for quite some time, I'm afraid. <laughs> I remember 30-something. It was a long, long time ago. Yeah. Marzi says, uh, thank you, Christo. That's fine. Definitely one option to highlight your lives. I've got a couple of options on the go. Lily nice. says, how about focaccia bread? Oh, no. You should check. You should... Oh. There's an, an amazing, I have an amazing focaccia bread on the channel, but I am keen, I want to do focaccia again, definitely. But I'm going to, I'm actually going to get into um, yeast, um, recipes with yeast, because quite a lot of you guys have, you do want to work with yeast, um, with this flour. So I think once I, you know, if I do it, then I'll be able to give you some tips and tricks so you don't have a fail at home. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, like with yeast, there are so many recipes, including pizza and all kinds of other things. So um, I'm going to, I'm getting my stuff together for you. So hopefully you'll have that info soon. <laughs> Cheryl says, Loki, love that. <laughs> uh, Galina Tushka says, hello from California. Hi. Is pizza crust possible from chicken blend flour? That's the thing we were just saying. Yes, it is possible. Absolutely. Um, I want to I wanna do a, a yeasted pizza crust just so you have like the creme de la creme of pizza crust. <laughs> Sure, you could you could just um, do like a, a thin crust, um, you know, with um, you could do a thin crust and just make a pizza. But you know, that recipe is already available, and you just you would just replace your CK your almond flour with CK flour for that because um, the CK flour is a one-to-one -one replacement with just regular almond flour they do actually work with those recipes so you know you can find a keto uh, pizza recipe anywhere provided that it's not fathead dough um, and make that and we actually have one on the channel um, but yeah I want to do a yeast and pizza crust for you guys just you know something different uh, he's, uh, Galina has given the uh, uh, claps and more saying thank you. Uh, Charlotte says made a large batch of... Batch. Can, you, like, just, can yeah. you say batch? I can't. I cannot speak. <laughs> I am having trouble with did, the Queen's Now who, did, who made a large bat? <laughs> Charlotte made a large bat. She also made a large batch of biscuits with the chicken flour last week and it was a huge fail. Ah. However... I blitzed some for breadcrumbs and some for croutons, croutons, croutons. so it was still a win. <laughs> oh, right. And she says, uh, LOL, lots of vodka, which I'm assuming is for the cornstarch. Yes, so I think um, 
Who was that again? Sorry. Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte I think Charlotte, I'm with you on that. For me, um, for me, uh, the chicken flour, baking with the chicken flour has become um, hit and miss for me. Like sometimes I can taste the chicken uh, powder in, in the recipe and you don't want that in a cake or something sweet, right? So we're going to do what Judy Duran's doing and keep, she keeps her pecan flour just like for baking and the chicken flour for savory. So I don't know if that's the route that you prefer. My favorite uh, cake with chicken flour, the chicken flour blend is actually chocolate. It comes out amazing. With, don't you think so? Mm -hmm. That chocolate cake was gorgeous. Yeah, most definitely. So, but I'm finding with the other flavors that, um, okay, yes, have... Which, which ones are the... I, I'm not going to tell you. I think you need to um, no, to calm down. Okay. <clears throat> Joke. Uh, Mrs. H says, is daughter still there? I don't hear the washing machine anymore. Um, Mrs. H, yep, she's here, but it's 2 a.m., so she is in bed. Yeah, she's asleep. Marzi says Italian arancini, OMG, simple. Traditionally made with rice, wrapped with a hit of bolognese sauce and a small ball of mozzarella, crumbed and fried, real simple. Sounds good. So I, the, the, I think I definitely need that in my life. The rice, would, the rice would be the issue. Yeah, so you've got to ketogenize so the... You need, you need something that tastes like, that's going to taste like rice or something bland. So yes, um, it's not it's not going to be as simple as the current recipe or the regular recipe, because you need to mimic those flavors and the taste first before you can create it. Any more coffee? I thought I had more time to eat that than you gave me. Cheryl says you're still a baby at forty nine. Oh, thank you. I don't Cheryl, feel like it. Cheryl just turned 70. Yes. Oh, happy birthday if it was your birthday, Cheryl. I, I wished her on her birthday. Becky says you're still a baby. Oh, wow. Charity says she turned 49 on Wednesday. Oh, wow. Happy birthday, Charity. Or sweet 16 and 33 years experience. <laughs> nice. Lily says, even if it was a fail, I used lupin flour and a dough rose. It had yeast. I just needed a bit more water. I, I, uh, yes. <clears throat> That's the thing with lupin flour and chicken flour for that matter. You just need to, uh, don't be shy with your water. Just add, um, I like to add like a third of a cup at a time and have a look at my, because you know, you're, you're, it's all experimental at the moment, right? So, Add a third of a cup into a, um, a full-sized recipe and then have a play with your mixture. Is it uh, runny for a cake? Is it like dough for a bread? Um, that kind of thing. Do you have flour or graininess uh, underneath your batter that's, you know, can't, you can't mix in anymore? Then you would need to add a bit more water in, definitely. Sandy Reed says, Mel, you are beautiful. Oh, thank you, Sandy. Thank Ma you. <clears throat> Marzi says, Christo, what is your birth date? You guys mentioned something about it a couple of weeks back. No, you mentioned something about it. I refuse I to was, acknowledge the date. I was practicing to make you a birthday cake. And I wanted a guilt-free birthday cake. I didn't want a low-carb birthday cake. But you announced cake. that it was my birthday. I would not have done such a thing. I, I did say it was a practice run. <clears throat> Anyways, <clears throat> do, I, do I have to answer this now? Now, Chris doesn't like his birthday, so... I know, strange. I feel on the spot here. <laughs> it's on the 21st, Marzi. Every year. Uh, Becky says, please don't use Gluten fiber in your yeasted recipe. We can't handle gluten with arthritis. Oh, we no. Uh, vital wheat. Gluten. We this is a gluten-free channel. Um, I think maybe I lasted a gluten recipe two years ago. Um, gluten as in with vital wheat gluten. I did 
I gosh, it's been ages. And then um, my subscribers actually convinced me to go gluten free just because it's healthier. I don't have an issue, but I am completely gluten free, and so is the channel. So, you know, we we're not going to deviate from that at all. We're trying to make um, we're trying to make um, dishes that makes bread feel like it has gluten you know i don't know how to explain it a little bit of airy pockets good crumb that kind of thing uh <clears throat> cheryl says you need a flavoring that is stronger than chicken like the chocolate onion extra cinnamon ginger clove etc you just have to overpower the light chicken flavor i like that that yeah. makes a lot of sense Galena made waffles with CK, adding cottage cheese, sweetened with glycine. Oh, yum. All right, that sounds good. Yes. Oh, look who decided to show up. Who? Jonna Farrell. Hi, guys. Oh, Hi, Jonna. Jonna, why is he picking on you today? Hello, doll. It's not just today, it's every day. You pick on Jonna all the time, dude. All the time. It's and just, Sandy, and Sandy Reid picks on you. Yes. And now, and now so does... <laughs> Mrs. Tomlinson. <laughs> yes, Cheryl's going to come and sort me out. Sandy's been very quiet though. She did say you're beautiful. But <laughs> I haven't had my weekly. No, roasting. she does. She's keeping on on your toes, just on the low key. If you, you know, suddenly gone over your head, she doesn't want you to get used to, you know, one type of thing. I might develop anxiety <laughs> if she doesn't pop up soon. Uh, Marzi says next time I'll make a loaf of the Vital Week gluten, just or oh, without the Vital Week gluten, just melt CK flour. I'm your sidekick tester. Nice. Uh, he also says, thanks, Christo, it's safe between you and I. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Cheryl says, Mel, when is your birthday? Oh, I am on the 30th of August. So it's, it's still far. It's still far away. But, anywho. Donna says she can take it because I throw softballs. <laughs> Yeah, there's that evil laugh again. <clears throat> well, I have to keep a PC because otherwise uh, the YouTube gods will get angry. Yes, I know. <laughs> Don't be rude. <laughs> I was. She said it, not me. She said I throw a softballs, not I have. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I forgot. Look what where the, your mind went. Just straight to the gutter. Exact meaning was no. I, I didn't. I didn't mean that. Yeah, you go on. You want a shovel? No, I didn't. Dig yourself out of this one. Ms. No, Bell. no. Uh, Louis says you could also use a bit of orange or lemon zest. Oh, yes. And Cheryl says you will never know when I'm going to show up, Chris. It will be a surprise. Well, oh, I'm thinking orange peel and some cran dried, unsweetened dried cranberries into that with sweetener and some vanilla extract oh that that's going to be good uh, cheryl says her husband's birthday is in august too oh nice when i wonder when his is and john is crying with laughter so they're the opposite from us because uh, cheryl's obviously in with july you, yeah. yes okay. yes Yes, well, I wonder when she's going to show up. At least she'll be able to find me, because I'll be the one standing beside myself with anticipation. <laughs> Lisa M says, love you, Mel. Hi hey, from Lisa. the Sonoran Desert of Arizona. Oh, Arizona, wow. Cheryl says, ooh, orange pound cake, and his is the 22nd. Okay. It's just a week apart. And Jonah says, oh, oh, my yummy, yummy. <laughs> well... Anyway, guys, on that note, I hope above everything that I have inspired you and um, you can take a simple recipe like this and make your hush puppies. And for me, I'm going to make fat cook or fat cakes, you know, because that's what I love. And go for broke. And please send me lots of pictures. <laughs> I will share it, I promise. Thank you so much, everyone. And thank you to our Patreons who support the channel. Your support means everything to us. Um, we are able to bring you so much recipes. So our Patreons, 
Thank you so much. And for those of you who bought us a coffee recently, thank you as well. We have almost got our camera. <laughs> so thank you for that. Anyway, we'll let you go and have a lovely morning or evening or sleep like us. <laughs> Ciao. Bye, guys. Bye.